Hey, this is Sridhar. Today, we will explain about the steam statement level triggers, which are otherwise called as table level triggers, with some more example. As I said, statement level trigger, the trigger body will be executing only one time. Even if there are n number of DML operations are performed or no DML operations are performed, the trigger body will be ex executing only once. And it is also called as a table level trigger. So we are not dealing with the values which are inserted. So it's basically used for restring, restricting invalid uh, data entry like that. Okay, let me write a trigger. This I am writing this trigger on table employees one. In employees one table, before insert or update or delete any data on employees one table, I'm not specifying column name, just if you insert or delete or update record in employees one table and if the operation is performed on Saturday or Sunday, then you should get the error. You cannot perform the DML operations during weekends. This is an example. Let me write the trigger for this before insert or update or delete on employees one table begin. The condition is to care of sysState. If the sysState and the parameter is dy. dy means if it is Sunday then SUN will be displayed. If it is Saturday then SCAT will be displayed. The value of this function to care of sysDate the parameter is dy in this function will return either SAT or SUN that is Saturday or Sunday. So if it is Saturday or Sunday then you will be getting you cannot insert daily that is you cannot perform any DML operations during weekends closing the if statement end if and closing the ins trigger end here if you see today is 30th and it is Monday so we can include one more uh, value called MON because it should work for it won't work for Monday I mean Today is Monday, so you can insert delete or update on employees table. So if you want to get this error message, today you won't get it since it is Monday. So I'm including MON also. Let me execute this trigger. Trigger is compiled. And now I'm going to insert the value. If I'm inserting the value, Today is Monday, so I created a trigger on employees one table such a way that if you are doing any DML operations on this table, you will get error only on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Okay, I am doing this insert insert operation. Then you will be getting the same message what I written here cannot perform DML operations during weekends. The same message you will be getting during weekends. So this is a trigger you have written on this let me remove monday and i am recreating the trigger yes trigger one compiled now i am inserting cannot insert null into employees one dot email i am getting a different error message i am not getting the same message which i get before cannot perform dml operations during weekends this is another error. So you can insert or delete. Let me try delete. I'm going to delete 202. Okay, let me delete 199 because I'm using this one as an example for in all my sessions. Delete from employees 1 where employee ID equals 199. Yes, deleted. Let me check into the table. Once again, 199 record is deleted. So you can delete or you can do any DML operations today because Monday is not included now. And that's the reason. I have some another example. Another statement level trigger is 
I have a sensitive table and I want to track who are all going who are all doing DML operations on that table and if anyone is doing some kind of DML operations on that table then I have to enter who is doing and at what time they are doing and some message what kind of operation they are doing whether they are doing insert delete or update and who is doing and at what date they are, the user is doing this DML operation since this the table is a sensitive table so for that I am writing the statement level trigger this statement level trigger my sensitive table is students students is my table and uh, if anyone is doing any kind of DML operations then a message will be returned into student audit table with the relevant information let me execute initially the students students table let me open this is my main table here if anyone doing some operations DML operations then it should be audited in student audit table student audit now it is empty after doing some DML operations after creating this trigger and doing some DML operations it will be populated okay let me execute this let me explain create or replace trigger trigger name after insert because I want to allow user to insert or update or delete any kind of DML operations but I want to track it who are all doing this after insert or delete or update on the table name student I am using some variables so I am using the declare statement declare msg is a message message where cat 2 of 50 creating a data creating a variable and my begin statement if anyone is doing inserting insert operation if inserting if inserting means if anyone is doing insert kind of operations on this table students table if inserting then my message is insertion done because I am writing this trigger after insert else if updating if anyone is updating then my message is updation done because I am writing after insert or update else if deleting if anyone is deleting then my message is deletion done after insert or update or delete closing the if statement end if and I am inserting the data into student audit table insert into student audit my values are the corresponding message what operation is done if the if anyone is doing insert operation then my message is insertion done and this message will be coming here and user who is the doing this operation so the user will be automatically populated by the user name and the state the current date when the user is doing this DML operation that date will be coming here let me execute this trigger it's trigger to compile and I am going to do DML operation three DML operations I'm going to perform and first one is insert let me okay there is no 105 ID guess in students table there is no 105 user ID insert into student values 105 comma RAM there is no enough values because students table is having gender also so let me include one more value that is m execute insert insertion is done update student set name equals sita where s number is 103 let me check what is 103 yes 103 exist name I want to change it as sita yes update student set name equals Sita yes number equals 103 update is also done and I am deleting the first record 101 record yes done let me get into the student audit table whether these corresponding informations are recorded or not yes insertion is done my user ID is HR and update timestamp is 30th Jan today's date if you want you can include a sys timestamp by sys timestamp to get the current date and time also but here I am using only the date so deletion is done user is HR and the date is 30th Jan so all the informations are recorded into students audit table this is statement level trigger so statement level trigger is basically done on table level 
it is written on table level and it will be executing only once the trigger body will be executing only once thanks for watching